Hey, okay, all right guys, so this video is gonna be about this um, beast right here, this fella. This is my underwater dive rig and this is one of my proudest positions to be honest. Um, I'm very excited about it and I made a lot of upgrades since my last um, dive trip. So I still have the A6500, it's rolling right now. And uh, for this trip I have bought the Sea Frogs Salted Line uh, series, the housing, together with the 90mm port for the Sony 90mm uh, uh, macro lens. So I'm going in two months time to Ambon and uh, Banda Islands in the east um, Indonesia, in the pretty much the heart of the Coral Triangle. So I'm very 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 happy about this and super excited. Um, so today I'm just going to talk a little bit about my dive rig. Um, the two arms that I have on those sides, those big fellas, they are uh, carbon fiber floaters. They have uh, upward floating power of 600 grams each. Um, and that will help me to balance the rig uh, underwater because it's super 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 heavy and uh, very very hard to maneuver uh, right now uh, of course on land but it's uh, it's been a bit hard underwater as well so that's a new addition that i have th those floating arms i'm very happy about them um, i'll start with my left arm on my left arm i have this light and motion solar light that has three stages um, i use this as a video light and a focus light so during night dives when you're down there taking photos you you ain't gonna get any autofocus whatsoever if you are not having any light because it simply don't work um, and on my right arm here I have the CNC YSO1 uh, uh, strobe which is a great strobe um, you m can maneuver the power on the back side and I believe the maximum power is up to 20,000 lumen which is very very strong very much light um, it's easy to use and it's been good to me so far. Um, the flash is uh, triggered by the built-in camera flash. So when the flash on the inside of the housing goes off, the light is transported in this fiber optic cable to the strobe and the strobe will trigger. So it happens really fast and uh, it's, it's, it's all good, it's great. I'm very happy about it. Um, and in the front of the strobe, I have the diffuser that will make the light a lot, a lot softer. And that is always nice to have, because um, else the, the light might get like sticky um, and you will get some weird reflections on some surfaces some areas of uh, whatever you're taking photos of um, so this housing i have is a chinese made housing from sea frogs um, i had their pre previous version uh, before uh, and now i upgraded to the salted line series and what's good about the salted line series is that it has interchangeable port system so now I will be able to bring down my 90mm macro lens which is very very long um, with me in this housing um, and in the front I have this fella right here which is the Nauticam CMC1 which is a underwater uh, diopter um, that is I believe plus 13, 15, some, something around there that is very strong, very popular and is gonna make a lot of magnification together with the 90mm macro lens. So in my mind, I haven't tried it all yet, but hopefully I will be able to take photos of like um, tiny eggs to some animals, um, which I'm very excited about, uh, this super macro. Um, and as you maybe can see on the top, something's blinking here. It's blinking green. So green, green is all good, guys. Uh, uh, I hope you know that you, you ain't gonna, you ain't pass, passing any red lights, right? Um, what this is is my VPS 100 uh, vacuum pump system, 
um, it works like this. You pump out the air inside and you will get a vacuum inside the housing. And why do you guys want to have a vacuum inside the housing? Because the light here is showing that the vacuum is active. You have vacuum inside. So it's basically telling you that it's leak proof. No air is getting inside or getting out. It's leak proof. And that is nice to know. Always good to know so you don't get any weird panics that you're underwater that you might or having a leak or something like that. It will uh, save you save you a little, little bit of time if uh, you actually get a leak. Um, but the main feature that I like about the vacuum pump system is that when you suck out all the air, um, you won't get any fog inside the housing. Because in the tropics the air is um, having a lot of water in it so when I'm underwater and taking photos and I strobe a lot this air is getting heated and when the air is getting heated the, the, all the water in the air will start to fog the housing and I have a great example last year when I went to the north of Bali one of the rare critters showed up the mimic octopus the holy grail of the cephalopods um, but we, ju we just had uh, uh, fog, me and my friend, all over the housing. So the photos turned out shit, like this. Uh, and now I will be able to avoid this kind of happenings. Uh, we had, after that, a lot of uh, weird uh, acrobatics going on in our room. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, like, we were under the AC, trying to close the, uh, the rigs uh, under the AC to get some better air than if we were closing uh, the, the housing outside and we were drying it a little bit in the sun and yeah, we, we, we were like uh, we had lots of troubles so with this vacuum pump system I won't be able I won't have to worry about that anymore uh, so that's it guys um, the wetsuit I'm having is a W1 waterproof wetsuit Swedish brand 5 millimeter I'm super happy about it and I can recommend it to uh, anyone. Um, thanks a lot guys for uh, watching, please write a comment and uh, happy diving um, and hope to uh, see you soon.